Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not currently a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really going to like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Today I'm doing a review of the Bumped app. Now the Bumped app is a stock back app, which is also technically a cashback app. So whenever you go shopping at specific retailers or specific restaurants, you receive cash back, which is then used to purchase stock of the company that you shopped at. And just like many cashback apps, all you need to do is connect your credit card or your debit card and run your debit card as credit. That means not using your pin. And then the application is able to recognize the transactions and then give you credit at the specific retailers that you shop at. And the rewards that you receive as stock back, these are in addition to the cash back or points that you would receive from a travel rewards credit card. So as an example, if you were to go to Chipotle and you were to buy food, and this is one of the stores that you selected within the app, then every time that you shop with Chipotle, you would receive 3% back of the purchase that you made at Chipotle. And then that 3% of the cash that you spent would then be used to buy Chipotle stock. So with one of the credit cards that I use with the Bump app, I receive 3% cash back at any restaurant. And so on top of the 3% that I'm receiving from my credit card, I'm also getting another 3% just by going to Chipotle where I would eat at normally anyway. So this is a great option instead of receiving actual cash back because that cash is then put into the stock market, which means that your money can grow faster over time than it would if you just receive cash back and put that cash into your savings. So this is an excellent application for anyone that wants to get started with investing in the stock market, but you wouldn't even have to actually put your own money into the stock market. All you have to do is the normal shopping that you otherwise would do, and you receive as a reward stock in your Bumped app. Now this is a new twist on loyalty programs because essentially what the Bumped app is and any other stock back application, it is a loyalty reward program. And it is also a cashback app and it is a brokerage account all in one. So the pros of having a rewards program of any type is that the store that you're shopping at, they're more likely to get you to come back over and over again versus shopping with another store. Because you're getting those loyalty points or you're getting cash back or you're getting some type of discount, whatever the reward program is for that specific store, you get rewarded for being loyal to that store. And so the twist with the Bumped app is that instead of receiving a discount or instead of receiving points towards a future purchase at that same store, you automatically receive cash back, which is then used to purchase stock. Now, some of the negatives that you want to think about is the same negatives that you would have with any rewards program. So if you're spending more than you normally would just to get the rewards, whether that's stock back or a cash back or a future discount at that store, then you're not really getting the full advantage of using that rewards program. You really only get the major benefit when you do the normal shopping that you would do anyway, not when you spend more just because you think you're getting some additional reward or some points from it. And the companies are expecting that because you're getting that reward, you're more likely to spend more because you know you're going to get something back on the back end. And the rewards are small in the grand scheme of things. So of course, you're not going to become a millionaire from the stock that you receive by using the Bumped app or any other stock back app. So you definitely don't want to go out and buy things just because you're receiving stock from these particular stores. And one thing that is different from your typical rewards program is that the value of your rewards can actually drop because the stock that you're purchasing that you're receiving back as a reward that can go up or down in value. But we know that over the long term stocks do rise in value. But because you are getting individual stocks of companies versus investing in an ETF or an index fund, which over time, it's always going to go up over the long term. There's always the potential that an individual company could go bankrupt over the long term. And so maybe making the decision about which stores that you choose with the app could be based on which companies you think actually are going to do well over the long term as well. So to get into the specific stores that are available in this application with the Bump app, what you have is basically 10 categories to choose from. And within each category, you can choose one store where you will receive stock back as a reward. And what I've also noticed by looking on the internet and looking at other people that have used the app in the past, that there are different stores available for different users. I'm not sure if they decide this based on your area where you live, either your phone number or your zip code, or if they base it on your past transactions, stores that you've shopped with in the past before they actually give you the option for the stores that you're going to be included in. 
but it may also be totally random because I did reach out to the bumped team and they mentioned that whenever they're bringing in a wave of new customers, because this app is actually still in beta, each wave has access to different stores or may have different groups of stores that they have access to. So for me, the first category is Club Warehouse. Now Club Warehouse, you can think of that as Sam's Club, Costco, BJ's, stores like that where they're big box stores where you typically get a discount for buying in bulk. However, the only store that's actually available to me within the Bumped app is Sam's Club. Now, I'm not a Sam's Club shopper anymore. That used to be the store that I would go to. I'm actually a big Costco shopper. And so not having Costco as an option within this app actually makes it a little bit less valuable for me. And actually the only store that I can choose from in this category is Sam's Club. But with this actual store, you can receive the VTI, which is the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, ETF. You receive that back as a reward whenever you shop at Sam's Club. The next category I have is coffee. And under coffee, we actually have four options. And the option that I chose was Starbucks. And with Starbucks, every time I buy something at Starbucks, I get 2% cash back in the form of stock with my purchases at Starbucks. The other options available within the coffee category are Dunkin', Pete's, and Caribou Coffee. And all four of these options, you get 2% cash back in the form of stock whenever you make purchases. The next category is convenience store slash gas. And within this category, you have the option to choose from Shell, ExxonMobil, BP, and Chevron. Or I should say I have this option because it may vary when you actually sign up. But within this specific category, I chose Shell. And with Shell, I get 0.5%, so half of percent back as stock when I buy gas at Shell. And I actually chose to receive the total stock market index fund ETF, which is VTI again. But the other reason that I chose Shell is because Shell is also an option in the GetUpside app. Now, if you've seen my cashback app reviews in the past, I did a review of GetUpside. And within that app, you can receive cashback as well whenever you shop at specific gas stations. And because Shell is an option within that application, I also chose it with the Bumped app. So now I'm actually getting triple, actually quadruple rewards whenever I shop at Shell. And I'll make a video in the future to talk about how I receive cashback four different times by buying gas at Shell. The next section is entertainment. And under the entertainment section, you have the option to choose from Fandango, AMC Theaters, Cinemark, Netflix, or Spotify. Now, none of these stores I actually shop at, although you do receive 2% cash back whenever you use one of those retailers or one of those products, but because I don't have a subscription to Netflix or Spotify and I don't go out to the movies, this category is of no value to me. So I just chose Fandango because it does have VTI as the option, but I haven't received any stock because you know, I don't use any of these items. I'm thinking maybe in the future I might use Spotify. So if that is something that I do use in the future, then I'll just switch the option to Spotify instead of having Fandango as my option. The next category is family dining. And within this category, I chose Olive Garden. But the other options available in this category are Chili's, Red Robin, and Outback Steakhouse. And with any of these four options, or specifically Olive Garden because that's what I chose, I received 2% cash back in the form of stock. And with Olive Garden, because they're part of Darden Restaurants, their ticker symbol is DRI, this is the stock that I receive back if I decide to go to Olive Garden. But again, with this category, I don't go out to eat a lot. And so this isn't something that I receive cash back in because it's not one of the stores that I normally go to. The next category is grocery. And within this category, I only have two options. Those two options are Kroger and Albertsons. Now I don't have any Kroger's in the area that I live now, but I still chose that option because a lot of the places that I travel, they have Kroger available. And in this section, you only get half a percent 0.5% cash back. But if you shop at either of those stores a lot, if you're buying groceries, which most of us are doing all of the time, this can be a really lucrative category for you. The next category is personal care. This is also a category that I don't really use, but the options available in this category are Dollar Shave Club, Kiehl's, Sephora, and Ulta. And with these four stores, I receive 1% cash back. I chose Ulta because maybe my wife may shop there or I may buy her a gift from Ulta. And I received the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, which is VTI, again with this category. Now the next category is Quick Eats. Now this is a category that I actually do use. 
And so within this category, as I mentioned previously, I chose Chipotle where I received 3% stock back. But the other options to choose from in this category for me were Burger King, Jamba Juice, McDonald's, Subway, and Taco Bell. Now I do actually eat at a few of these places, but Chipotle was the restaurant that I ate at the most out of this category. The next category is ride sharing. And with ride sharing, you know, the two biggest ride sharing applications are Uber and Lyft. And these are the choices that you have in this category. And this is one of the few categories where you actually have different amounts of cash back for each option. So with Uber, you get 1% cash back, but if you use Lyft, you get 2% cash back. However, I personally have never used Lyft. I do actually have the application on my phone, but I don't use Lyft or Uber very often. But since I do have the option to choose the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF as stock back when I, if I use Uber, I chose Uber as my option. Now the last category I also don't use, it is the category for vineyards, and there's only one option anyway, and that is for Willamette Valley Vineyards. And you will receive stock in that specific company, so if you are a person that shops at vineyards, specifically Willamette, then this may be valuable for you. Now, as you can see from the portfolio that I've gained, just from the cashback I received from shopping at specific stores, I actually don't have a lot in my portfolio, but that's because I don't eat out a lot. Costco isn't an option for me, and Kroger also isn't an option for me locally. And so the cashback that I would get on a regular basis would only be from Shell when I buy gas. Since the other stores, I don't really use that much unless I'm traveling. So this may vary for you based on the options that they make available to you when you sign up for the application or based on the places that you like to shop. So if you eat out a lot at a specific restaurant and it's one of the ones available to you, then of course you're gonna get a lot of value from it. If you shop at Sam's Club and Sam's Club is offered to you, you're gonna get a lot of value from that. But because Costco isn't an option, Amazon isn't an option, those are two stores that I go to that I shop with a lot. And the grocery stores in my area aren't really available. You know, I shop at Publix a lot and they're not even a public company, so they wouldn't be available anyway, unless they made that option available so you could receive the VTI, the total stock market ETF. And the balance that you're seeing in this portfolio is over the course of six months. So as you can see over the past six months, I haven't really bought a lot of Chipotle or Starbucks or no Olive Garden at all. I've gone to Kroger maybe twice in the past six months because I don't have Kroger locally. But I do hope that once this is out of beta and it's made available to everyone where you can just download it from the App Store, and this app is available on both Android and iOS, but you do have to sign up for the waiting list in order to have the app available to you. And so I'll have a link in the description that you can use so you can join the wait list. That way you can get in line and maybe this will be of great value to you. I still think it's a really great idea and a really great cashback slash stockback app. So you should definitely try it out. It is also in my top seven cashback apps. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out so you can see what other applications, including Bumped, are included within that top seven. Now there is another stockback app that I actually do think is better than Bumped. And I'll do a review of that application very shortly. It is also in my top seven cashback apps. So look for that video coming soon. All right, if you currently use the Bumped app, make sure you leave the comment to talk about your experience when using the application and what stores were made available to you within this application and which ones you get the most value out of. All right, thanks for watching. If you're not currently a part of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.